Hey twins, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Twin of Flames Tarot, and this is another energy update. So we're gonna see what's happening for you guys, your twin, okay? You and your twin right now, the separation. We're gonna see what's going on behind the scenes, okay? So of course, if you're dealing with your twin, this could resonate, but you also could just be separated from someone. So we're gonna channel the energy. And if this reading resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe, all right? So I use tarot, I have oracle cards, and that's how I get your messages, okay? All right, messages for the twins out there. Come to the edge, okay? So your person wants to now take a risk, come to the edge, um, you know, the edge. It's like the full card, right? The full, new beginning, I want to take a risk. I want to put myself out there, right? Um, I feel like there's an energy of this person knowing they got to take action, right? If I want something, if I want you back, if I want to reconcile, if I want to grow together, then I got to come to the edge. I got to come to you. So your person definitely is realizing that now they got to do the work. Now they got to move towards you, right? Um, the edge is speaking about risk. Right? There's some complication here. It may not be easy, but this person's like, I'm willing to put myself out there and at least try and go for it. All right, we have between worlds. So now there's the energy of your person going from one place where there's it's dark and gray and gloomy, right? It's depressive to this place where there's color, there's light, there's happiness, there's beauty, right? This beautiful flamingo. So your person is wanting to make their way back to you. That's what it looks like. Your person is saying, I'm tired of being over here by myself. I'm tired of being in this energy of lack, five of pentacles, by myself, right? Depressive state of mind. So the, literally going from gray, cloudy, rain, wavy waters to calm, serene, beautiful sky, clear sky with the flamingos. I feel like your person is, they're realizing the happiness that you bring to their life. They're realizing the life that they can live with you, that they can't experience unless they had you in their life, right? So there could be a big realization that I gotta now make this transition. I can't stay where I am right now because where I am right now is not where I wanna be. It's not making me happy. Okay, we have TikTok and we have Unfinished Symphony. So this makes sense. Um, there's something ticking here. There's something about time. Some of you guys in the number 30 is standing out here. So I don't know, some of you guys maybe recently turned 30, maybe a partner's 30. We got three, 30, and 36. I'm just saying. They came out, in a, um, so they could be significant numbers. Tick tock, tick tock. So this is the energy of this person. I feel like they've taken their time. And that was the problem here. This person took their time. They may have certainly took their time with you in a sense that they, they took too much time, right? It's one thing to take time and get to know you, feeling you out, trying to make sure that this is real. But then it's another thing when you just like waste in someone's time. And I feel like this person wasted your time. I even feel like it got to a point in time where like you put pressure on them and this person was like scambling. They were like, they didn't know what they wanted to do. I'm seeing like a lot of chaos around them. I'm seeing this is someone who all of a sudden panicked and they may have literally, when you ask them, okay, what are we doing? Are we moving forward? Are we committing? Or, you know, it's like this person just snapped and they just decided, I don't want to do this at all. So you could be dealing with someone who lives a very chaotic life in general, but when you put that pressure on them, this person's like, mm -mm, I don't want to do it at all. So there's something about timing here, but I also feel like the person's realizing that now it's time for me to take action because if they don't, I feel like you guys will just, you'll blow away. We have a balloon here, okay? We have an air balloon. So I feel like you guys are moving away from this person, okay? Air balloons travel, right? You get from one destination to another. So now your person's saying, I want to come to you. I want to I wanna make this transition, take action and going from one place to the other. So now this person knows that they got to hurry up. They got to hurry up because if they don't hurry up, they're going to lose you forever, that's what it looks like to me. So this person is saying to themselves, this is unfinished. This is not done. Unfinished symphony. Some of you guys are connecting with yourself through music. You could be dealing with someone who's very, very musically inclined. They had that ear for music, the sound of music, okay? Um, this is not done. This isn't over. Death in the verse. This is to be resurrected. This is to come back. 
to be revisited, okay, at a later time. So now your person's realizing that, you know what, I don't want this to end. I don't want this cycle to end. So I feel like your person is definitely wanting to take action because they know if they don't take action, it's going to end, right? Orphaned. So this is that Five of Pentacles energy, feeling alone, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected. But this is how they perhaps made you feel. So some of you guys, it's like they could be feeling the same way they made you feel. They made you feel like you weren't good enough. You were nothing to them, right? And they could have literally left you, abandoned you on a moment's notice with no clarity, no direction, no closure. And so now your person's left in despair. They're now left in the energy of feeling really bad about what they did, but now also lost, okay, about how to move forward with you. So this person realizing the hurt that they caused you, now they're feeling the hurt. And now they don't know how, how to talk to you because they're like, well, damn, my person felt this way, you know? Wow. Round and round. So this person's going around in their head, very cyclic energy. Okay, this is speaking about the turmoil in their life. And it may not look like it. This person could be hiding it and acting like they're doing all good. It's all good. I'm all dandy, right? Sunshines and rainbows. They're smiling from ear to ear. But no, your person's going around and around their head. This is like some kind of like mental illness. This person is feeling sick because it's like they, they're, they're realizing how troubled they are. They're constantly thinking about you, wanting to do something. Round and round your head is not a good energy. So I definitely feel like your person feels like um, the absence from you in their life, right? Orphan. They feel like an orphan. They feel like you don't care about them anymore. You're not even interested. They feel like you're now giving your love to someone else. Your love, your affection, your loyalty. So yeah. No place like home. Go the distance. So yeah, this person is trying to go home. This person is trying to travel to you. It looks like there's some traveling that's required. Maybe some of you guys, your person is like overseas or in a different state, a different city. Maybe you guys separated during COVID for some of you guys. COVID could be really playing a big role in your connection, in the separation in particular. No place like home is speaking about this person for wands type of energy, right? They miss being home. Home is where their heart is. They miss coming home to home cook meals. Some of you guys, you didn't even live with each other and you cook for this person, right? It's like you can come over after work. I got something for you, right? And you made, you prepared meals for them. You went above and beyond. And so this person's like, there's no place like home because you were their home. You were the home or the, the family that they never had. When I say family, like they definitely were thinking about you like family. Like they could see themselves living with you, building with you, having a family with you. And they can't get that anywhere else. And now they're missing it. So now they're saying, I want to go the distance. And if you see this is a cheetah, this person wants to come in fast. They're wanting to come and fast. This person wants to run back to you. We have literally the finish line right there. So this person's coming close. They're coming close. Okay. They're, they're little, they're not walking, they're running. So this person is definitely saying, I gotta make a move. If I want this, if I truly want this, I gotta fight for it. I gotta go the distance. I can't stay here going round around my head. Thinking, overthinking, because that's not going to get me anywhere. That's just going to cause me to be dizzy and for me to be, my mind to be messed up, right? So this person realized, I got to escape this energy, this mental conflict and turmoil. I got to make moves. I got to come to the edge. Time is ticking, tick tock, right? So that's the energy here. We got building blocks. We got mending. Yeah, so building blocks. I want to build a future here with you. This is someone who's realizing that we had... We had something real special. We did. And we were building a future together, right? One block at a time. And that's what you guys, you thought you were doing with this person. You thought that, you know, anything with the blocks, something tangible, right? That's like, that's like investments, assets, pentacles, right? Your person definitely saw you in their life for the long term. But it's almost like all of a sudden, I feel like it, it broke down because this person could have stopped trying. I'm getting, they, they stopped trying or they failed to show up or they retracted their energy so it's like all of a sudden it's like they were building with you and all of a sudden they, they stopped building so it could have came to, like a surprise to you that this person didn't want this connection anymore we have mending 
I feel like this can also speak about like healing of trauma, healing of past hurt and trauma that maybe you've gone through, you've experienced with your person, but also some trauma that they could have gone through, they could have experienced and they could have brought to this connection, right? Because if you don't take the time to heal your trauma, you're going to repeat things. You're going to, it's going to come up in some area of your life. And usually it's your relationship, right? Wow. And then we have to be fair. So now this person wants to come in, but they now want to be fair. They want to be, um, they want to reciprocate, right? They want to meet you halfway. They want to compromise. So to be fair, they want to be fair, honest, upfront, truthful. They want to give to you the way you give to them. So let's see what other messages we have. Messages for my twins out there. They're saying, come to the edge. King of Wands. Yeah, this person is an action-oriented energy. The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. This is someone who's all about movement. I want to make moves. I want to undo things I've done. So this person definitely is still passionate about you. There's a lot of energy behind the King of Wands. They're feeling action-oriented. They're, they're feeling energized. They want to accomplish. They're very resourceful, but they're very, um, they're all about movement. The Emperor is here as well. Some of you guys, you have two people. Okay, others of you guys, the emperor is in the building, <laughs> okay? The emperor is in the building. So this is someone who's saying, I want to rise up to the, the occasion. I want to be your emperor, all right? I want to be this person who is your provider, your protector. I want to be the man in your life. Some of you guys, it's the woman in your life, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. But the emperor is someone who takes charge, I'm willing to do the right thing. I've now stepped into my divine masculine energy. I like it. Four cups, okay? This is speaking about, you know, crying over spilled milk, regrets. So this person is feeling, you know, they feel really bad for what they've done. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of remorse and guilt. There's a lot of emotions here. And some of you guys, you had no idea this person was emotional. But yeah, they're emotional. They're emotional over what they've lost, right? So it's like when they had you, they weren't emotional, right? But when they lose you, they're like all in their emotions now. The fool, there you go. Wanting a new beginning. I want to take a risk on this. I want to put myself out there. I don't know what's on the other side. I don't know if you're going to reject me. Four cups is definitely rejection. So they're thinking about, they're literally thinking about you rejecting them. Saying like, go home. I don't want you here. But this person saying, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, because that's my chance of mending this connection. That's my chance of coming back home and coming back into your life. How am I going to be able to right my wrongs with you and be fair and be open and honest if I don't take that next step, that leap of faith? So your person is wanting to take that next step with you. Okay, we got the lollipops here. I think this is like the six of pentacles. Yeah, you guys, this is the six of... um. No, this is the Six of Wands. I'm sorry, you guys. This is the Six of Wands. This is about being victorious, achieving something here. It's about, you know, movement. I feel like your person is definitely saying, I want to win you over. I want to win this. I want to accomplish this. I want to... I'm ready to play the game. I'm ready to play the game right and be fair, right? The Chariot, be victorious, the chariot is about taking charge. It's about really taking charge, ownership of a connection. It's about saying, I am ready to now be that person you've been wanting me to be. Because I feel like your person's realizing that this is, I don't want to be here, right? I want to be home. I want to be home with you. I want to be in your life. So I really feel like this is your person now kind of stepping out of their comfort zone and saying, I'm willing to put myself out there on the line to be victorious. Yeah, and the four wands. So this is about... um. This is that twin flame energy, right? Four wands is 11, 11, twin flame, soulmate, and a nine of cups. That's their wish. That's their wish to come back and be reunited with you. Four wands, nine of cups, their wish, their desire deep down is to have you back in their life, to have that stability, that structure, that home. Four wands is home, right? Family. They want those things back. All right, y'all, let's see any other messages. This is from, what's the Monology deck? Okay. What do you need to release? So some of you guys, your person is working on releasing something. That's probably why they put you out in the cold and why they're feeling like an orphan now. Maybe they had something that they were holding on to, trauma, 
resentment, okay? It could have been a third party they had to release. They were not willing to release. Waning moon, let it go. Release that. Release which does not serve you. So your person is now working on releasing something in order to bring forth this new beginning, in order to surrender, in order to be in your life, right? It's like if this person really wants you, they will do what it what needs to be done. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius. This person wants to show you who they really are, what they're made of. And I feel like they have never been able to show you like how they really felt. And I feel like they haven't really come to terms with how they felt until they lost you. So now this person's saying, I want to show you. I want to show the world. I want to make it public. I want to put out status on social media, on Facebook. I want to show you the real me. I'm willing to take that step and show you who I who I am. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I like it. Hold on, y'all. So this is the energy of um, if you guys have been going through a lot of challenges in your twin flame connection, this is saying the end is near, okay? The end of this hurt, cyclic energy of going back and forth, um, despair, pain, tough cycle, challenging, challenges of some sort. It's approaching an ending. So it only gets better from here. You guys are like, <laughs> the end is, is near, because your person's finally waking up. They're wanting to do better, right? They're not wanting to continue on like this. So that's a good energy here. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. This could be a Gemini here. This person wants to tell you everything. There are things that you question. They never gave you a solid answer. Maybe they told you lies. They want to give you the answer now. They want to give you clarity. They want to come in and give you the truth. So this person is constantly thinking about it, right? That Gemini energy, they're thinking about it. Air energy, right? They're constantly in their head, mental conflict, turmoil. And they're saying, they're saying I now need to come to you with the truth. I want to tell you these answers. So the answers are coming because this person is taking action. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, you guys, I don't know if you see that. I'm sorry. It's so blurry. What's going on? North node. So this person is now willing to take a risk. Stepping out of your comfort zone means like literally the fool, taking a risk, putting yourself out there. So in order to get what they want, they got to put themselves out there. They got to take a risk on love. All right. So we're going to finish off with the divine goddess oracle. Any messages for my twins? Be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. So now this person's saying, I want to change. I want to be open now to change. I want to be flexible. I don't want to be stubborn anymore. I know change is good, right? By being open to change, I can change my life path. Confession. Releasing a secret, pursuing virtue, and through honesty. So this person wants to confess their feelings. I got something to say right and i can't keep holding it back right in that last reading it was like that letter in a bottle this person has to confess their feelings because if they never confess it and they hold it back it's only going to eat them alive balance juggling too many things at once find time for yourself so this person now wants to live a life where there's no juggling going back and forth right they know what they want they want to move forward they want to bring balance they want to restore harmony to the connection they want fairness they want reciprocity right so balance they want structure in their life putting in the work okay we have action that helps achieve goals, building the path for success. So this person wants to be successful this time. It's like, I'm going to put in this work, but when I come in, I'm going to do it right because I want to achieve a goal. The end goal is to have you in my life, to build a very, very strong foundation for us to be together, to have a solid union. So they're building the path and they want it to be successful. So they're coming in the right way. Wow. Self-awareness. Tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. So now this person's become more aware of what this connection is, who they are, what you mean to them. They've become more aware of this twin flame journey, right? They've tapped into source. Spirit is talking to them. Spirit is waking them up. They're questioning things that they've done in the past, right? Overthinking these patterns, these negative self-limiting thoughts, beliefs that has kept them from doing what they need to do in this connection. So they're becoming more aware. Wow. Recognition. 
admiration for your hard work is coming. So this person wants to be recognized. When they come in, it's like, I want, I want you to see me. I want you to see that I am all about the business now. See how serious I am. I want you to see how hard I am willing to work for you. So this person is like, I want to prove to you that I'm doing it the right way. This time. I want to prove to you that you really do mean something. So this person wants to be recognized. Okay. Happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. So this is a journey of self-love for some of you guys, right? You're loving yourself. But there's the energy of your person wanting to be happy, wanting to make you happy, wanting to see a smile on your face, right? So this energy of discovery, learning self, self-discovery, which is going to lead to happy moments, celebration. Some of you guys, when you love, when you love yourself, you can love your person. When they love themselves, they can love you back. That's how you guys come together in the 3D, right? Sacrifice, giving up something now for a future reward. Didn't we just talk about what do you need to release? Yeah, this person needs to make a sacrifice. They got to let go of something. Because when they let go of something, something that doesn't serve them, something that is blocking the path of this connection, it's allowing this to come together. Some of you guys, again, it's a third party standing in the way. Let it go. Make that sacrifice. And by doing that, there's a future reward. There's a union. There's, there's a coming together of two twin souls. Okay? So that's your twin flame reading, you, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, doesn't this rock look like a heart? <laughs> Isn't it cute? Doesn't this rock look like a heart? Yeah, I love it. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out soon, all right? Be sure to hit that notification bell. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll check you guys out later, all right? Bye.